Do you want to sound like Cliff Burton? I mean, you probably do. I mean, obviously, the man's a beast. Like, who wouldn't want to sound like him? But like many people, you're probably stuck just at your amp. Just flicking your overdrive switch back and forth. But nothing seems to get that tone, the tone that you need. Well, I'm going to show you. It's this thing. The Morley 2020 Power Fuzz Wah. Now, I guarantee you, if you're wondering how to do all the funky shit that Cliff Burton does, it's this thing. I swear to God, it's just this one little thing. Like, you can use other stuff, but it's this thing. So, Cliff used something really similar to this back in the 80s. This one's almost the exact same, except it's smaller, it's got some more features, and way less expensive than the full-sized old 80s ones. The coolest thing is, you don't even need like a Rickenbacker or an Aria Pro 2, like what Cliff used. I got a Squire Jazz Bass here, and I'm gonna get Cliff's tone. Like, you don't need much. Now, obviously Cliff used more than just a Morley Power Fuzz Wah to get his epic tone. He used a Tube Screamer, he used a Compression Sustainer, uh, I'm pretty sure he used a Sans Amp Bass BDDI, um, but, you know, you really don't need all of that. Like, if you're just trying to have fun and get something that sounds like Cliff, you just need the one pedal. It's amazing. All right, now, if you're sculpting any kind of tone, you need a good clean tone. Uh, my clean tone's coming directly from my amp. I don't have any EQ pedals or anything. I just have a huge bump in the mids, especially those low mids, a bump in the treble, and a bump in the bass. Also, on my bass specifically, I have a bump in the tone, and I have the bridge pickup rolled all the way off, and the neck pickup rolled all the way on, because if you look at Cliff's Aria Pro 2, his like, signature bass, it's just got one big humbucker right there in that position, and so this is the really only the way that you can get that kind of sound. Alright, so this is what it sounds like. Here's where we get fun. Right here on the overdrive circuit, most amps have an overdrive circuit, so you really don't need a drive pedal on the ground. If you just have this overdrive circuit here, all knobs at max, max, max level, max drive. Click that on. You're gonna get some hum, but nothing you can do about that. All right, now with drive, this is what it sounds like. This is where the pedal finally comes in. You see down here, the pedal has a fuzz circuit on it. And so these are the settings that I have. I have my fuzz intensity at around, what would that be? Whatever that is, I don't know, the clock for that, but that. And then I have the level at that. And so just click on the fuzz there, more hum, but you can't do anything about that unless you have a noise cancellation pedal, but I don't. All right, so now you get a pretty good cliff tone, and it sounds something like this. But you might be thinking, there's something missing. Where are those distinct screams, those screeches, those sick-ass, gnarly growls that you hear? during a lot of Cliff's more soloish stuff or when he just wants to stand out. That's where the wah comes in. All right, so basically the reason that I had to turn the overdrive on on your amp is because just this pedal alone with the fuzz isn't really enough to get that Cliff tone that you're looking for. If you want the gnarly freaking anesthesia and Call of Cthulhu kind of screams and stuff, you really need that overdrive on. I don't know why, I don't know how, it just works that way. All right, so you put it all together and you get this. Something's wrong. Damn it, I gotta replace the battery.
All right, we're back. Everything's fixed. Uh, batteries die really quickly in this thing. That's one bad thing. But if I had an AC adapter, this would be fine. But I don't. So, yeah. But I can show you the tone now. So, this is the tone that I was trying to show you earlier. <laughs> Sick, right? Like, awesome tone. And I don't, I don't really know how it works. Um, like how the drive plus the fuzz plus the wah makes that, but it does. And if someone can tell me how the wah works in the like comments, I could look it up, but like I'd rather ask you guys. So, you know, because I have no idea. But when I was trying to find Cliff's tone, the main thing that I wanted was those screams, the just screeches. Um, you hear them a lot in Anesthesia, you hear them a lot in Call of Cthulhu, I'm sure there's other songs, I just can't think of them right now. Um, but it's so beautiful. Like, I heard someone describe it as a bobcat screaming, and like, that's just perfect. Um, and, uh, I thought there was like some special way to do it, some like harmonic or whatever. No, it's literally just, I'll show you right now, it's just, you hit the wah, and you make a power chord on the bass, so like this, and then you just take your hand and you brush it over, so the, uh, you know, going like wow with your face, that's 100% necessary. So yeah, that's that, I mean, like, you can get closer to his tone if you add other pedals and stuff, but really, that's it, like, that sounds pretty good for just one singular pedal and the overdrive circuit on an amp. All right, that's the video. Um, hope you enjoyed, hope you liked the tone. Uh, if you wanna get the Morley Power Fuzz Wall, I'll put a link in the description. Um, yeah, that's it, subscribe. <laughs>